Lux presents Hollywood. The Lux Radio Theater brings you Wallace Berry in The Champ with Josephine Hutchinson, Noah Berry, and Bobby Larson. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille. Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. There's a very select gallery of screen portraits that have become living memories to the people of our time. And that's about as near as any screen mortal can come to immortality. Wallace Beery's portrayal of the champ won him a special Academy Award in 1932, a portrait still so vivid that only Wallace Beery could bring the champ back to life in the Lux Radio Theater tonight. Besides the award to its star, the MGM picture also won Academy Honors as the best original screen story of the year. So we think we have what is a, a blue ribbon bill, backed, of course, by our blue ribbon product, Lux Toilet Soap, which has won the award of confidence from millions of women throughout the country. The Champ is the story of a father and son whose devotion took plenty of hard knocks but never went down for the count. The father happens to be a prize fighter, a former champion. But that isn't the important thing in the story. The Champ's greatest battle was fought, but wasn't fought in the ring at all. It was fought within himself to become a champion as a father. And that brings us to Dink, the vagabond son of this vagabond father. Anyone who saw the picture will remember the tear-stained face of Jackie Cooper as he stood by the champ against the world. Jackie's about seven years too old for the part now. But we asked him to help us out by suggesting a young actor to play the boy in the champ tonight. His suggestion and our choice was Bobby Larson. Bobby is the lad who read Lincoln's Gettysburg Address in the picture Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Wallace Berry is in friendly company tonight, for his brother Noah Berry is here to play the part of Tony. And as Linda, we have Miss Josephine Hutchinson, one of Hollywood's most able dramatic actresses. So we ring up the curtain on Act One of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery in the title role, with Josephine Hutchinson as Linda, Noah Beery as Tony, and Bobby Larson as Dink. <laughs> Just below the California border lies the sprawling little town of Tijuana, famous during the Prohibition era as a mecca for American tourists. Its muddy, unpaved streets were an endless procession of bars and gambling halls, where tourist and native rubbed shoulders in an atmosphere of desperate gaiety, of noise and smoke, and the spicy odors of Mexican food. The streets are ablaze now, for it's Saturday night, and the town is at its merriest. Threading his way through the crowd comes a ragged, dirty-faced boy, Dink Purcell. Though he's only seven, he walks with confidence, for Dink is at home in this boiling border town. Hello, Dink. Hello, Zay. You seen the champ? Your papa? No, I've not seen him tonight. Well, if you do, tell him I'm looking for him, will you? Sure, sure, I tell him. Hi there, Dink. Hello, Mary. You seen the champ? Hi, Goldie's bar. My dear, they ain't there. I wouldn't know that. Hey, Dink. Dink, where you going, Dink? Come here, Johnny. You ain't seen that champ, have you? Not me, no, sir. I ain't got to find him. There's a couple of guys waiting up the Greeks. They got a fight lined up for him. A fight? Your old man ain't had a fight in a long time. That don't make no difference. He's still the greatest fighter in the world. Sure, Dink. I didn't say nothing. The champ wins this fight. He said he's gonna buy me a horse. A real horse? Now what you think? A wooden one. A real horse. Man, oh man. Come on, Jonah. Help me look for the champ. Okay. Maybe he's down to Louis' place. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm telling you, Louis, if I get a crack at this big mix, I'll be right back where I was, Louis. Yeah, top of the heap. World's champion again, eh? I'll be the world champ again. You watch and see. Sure, I'll watch. It's a buck forty, you owe me, champ. You want to pay now? Sure, sure, sure. Hey, champ, champ. Well, well, if it ain't the little spitball. How you, Dink? Gee, champ, I've been looking all over for you. The promoters are up at the Greeks. They're waiting for you. They are, joggone, I forgot about it. You gotta straighten up, champ. Come on. Sure, sure. Hey, Jonah, get some ice. And tell Curly Dominic I can't have tomatoes. 
Okay, Dink. Say, what's the matter with you? I'm all right. They've been there for over an hour. Gosh, champ, what did you have to go forget? You might have spoiled everything. <laughs> hey, Louie, listen to that kid of mine bawling me out. He's rough on me, that kid is. Oh, Dink, I'm going to be good from now on. I honest, no kidding. Yeah, you said that yesterday. I know, I know, but this time I mean it, honest. Here's the ice, Dink. Okay, put the back of his neck with it. Oh, cut it out, will you, Dink? Tomatoes, kid. Come on, champ. Drink this. Listen, I don't like that stuff. I don't You're like... gonna straighten up. Come on, drink it. One, two, three. That's right. At a boy, champ. <laughs> That's terrible, that stuff. Feel all right now? Sure, I'm fine. Fix your hat. We gotta look right when we meet those guys. Where are they? Come on, bring them on. They're at the Greeks, I told you. Sponge is there, too. He's giving you a big build-up. What do you mean, Sponge is giving me a build-up? I don't need any build-up. I know, champ. Sponge is just helping, that's all. Now, come on. And don't let on to him that anything's wrong, huh? Don't you worry. They won't guess, Stink. <clears throat> Providing nothing gets me away. Here's another one here, fellas. This picture shows the champ wearing a diamond belt. Looks great, don't he? Yeah, he looks fine, Sponge, but that was six years ago. What we want to know is, how does he look right now? Same way, absolutely. He'll be here in a minute. You can see for yourself. Yeah, that's what we're waiting for, Sponge. Well, now suppose we talk dough, huh? Now, my idea was this. Andy can still draw a big gate in San Diego or anywhere. Hiya, now, what... boys. Ha, how's you? Ha, how's Jim. everybody? I, I find him, Sponge. He, he's working up in the gym. Well, sit down, champ. You must be tired. Yeah, thanks. Well, gentlemen, what's your proposition? I was just talking that over with the boys, champ. I was saying... Wait a minute. Let us do a little talking for a change. How's your condition, Andy? Who, me? Huh. I'm fine. Better than ever. You only have to look at me to know that. Yeah. He tore three punching bags loose last week, didn't you, Champ? Sure. Stand up, Andy. What for? We want to take a look at you. Okay, sure. What do you think, huh? Feel that arm. Hard as a rock. I'm as good now as... <gasps> Pardon me, must have been something I ate. Yeah. Seen enough, Harry? I guess so. Well, now that we're all set, what about the gate? We ought to get 20% at least. We're giving it to you, Sponge, all of it. Huh? The fight's off. Sorry, Andy, no can do. I don't get you. No? You've probably heard this before. Maybe the night you lost the championship. Booze fighting and prize fighting don't make sense. What are you talking about? There's nothing the matter with me. Nothing, see? Sit down, Andy, before you trip over your stomach. Come on, Harry. Yeah. Sorry, well, that settles that. Now, fine time you pick, champ. Tonight of all oh, nights you had Oh, shut up, shut right, up. Go right, on, right. go on, get out of here. Okay, okay. Get out. Here, yeah, Dink, come here. You don't believe what that guy said about me, about me not being right when I lost the champion, do you, Dink, huh? No. You know I wouldn't lie to you, would you? Yeah. Atta sure. boy, atta boy, I guess... I guess I'll hit the hay. Uh. Oh, don't bend over. I don't lace your shoes. Oh, no, I can do that. Oh, give me your foot. Dink, listen. I, I would have been all right tonight, only there was some people invited me. Well, you know how it is, don't you? Sure. Lay down on the bed. I'll pull your pants off. Oh, you don't have to treat me like I couldn't take care of myself. Oh, go ahead. You ought to get some sleep. <sighs> Oh, what's that? A dollar. Here, the last we got, huh? You guess so. Here, Dink. Spit on it, Dink. Go ahead, go ahead, for luck. Spit on it. Okay. Atta boy. You know things are going to change now, Dink. You wait until you see. I I'm going to behave myself from now on. Word of honor. I'll even quit gambling. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You hear what I said, Zink? Yeah, I heard you. Are you coming to bed? In a little while. Dink, I, I'm awfully sorry. Honest, I am. Good night, Dink. Good night, champ. Hey, Dink, Dink, come on. Here, wake up. It's morning. Dink, wake up. Oh, what's the matter? Come on, get out of bed. I got something to show you. Wow. 
want? Listen, Dink, you remember that dollar you spit on last night for luck? Well, I took it out this morning and it sure brought it. Eight passes, one after another. Yeah, I thought you was gonna gamble no more. Well, I forgot it, Dink. I won plenty of money, though. It ain't wrong when you win, is it? Here, look. See this watch? I got it for you. Thanks, champ. What's the matter? Well, nothing is swell. Well, I guess I'd get dressed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come over to the window here. Now look down there, see? See what Sponge has got down the street? He's got a horse. You think you could cotton to that? You mean that, that, that? Yes, the horse is yours. Mine? Mine? Oh, boy, let me see him. Here, here, come back here. You ain't got your pants on. You can't run around without your pants. Easy, fella. Easy, boy. Take it easy. Oh, oh, oh gee. Oh. He's wonderful. Where'd you get him, champ? I want him from Joe. And he's mine? All mine? Sure. Just like what I said. He's a racehorse, ain't he? Well, <laughs> he ran in a race once. He could be a winner, though. Couldn't he, Sponge? Why, sure. After I work on him for a little while, he'll make the grade. Gee. His name is uh, Butterfly. Butterfly. That's a heck of a name for a horse. We gotta change it. Okay. What'll we call him? I know. We'll call him Little Champ. You're the big champ because you're the best fighter in the world, and he's Little Champ because he's gonna be the greatest racehorse in the world. Say, that's not a bad idea. And we can start getting him ready and end the race right away. Sure. Sponge will have him set in no time. Oh, gee. Thanks, Champ. <laughs> Is over here. What'd you find out, Jonah? The odds is way against us, Dean. Huh? Little champ, they've got him now 20 to 1. Yeah. Who's the favorite? Horse by the name of Blue Boy is the favorite. There he is over there. See? They're taking pictures of him. Come on. I want to take a look. One side, please. One side. Oh, Mr. Carlton. Mr. Carlton. Yes? I'm from the San Diego Herald. Would you and Mrs. Carlton mind posing for a picture with Blue Boy? Not at all. Well, Linda. We're going to have our pictures taken. Oh, how nice. Blue Boy is Mrs. Carlton's horse, isn't he? He is. A birthday gift from my husband. And he's the favorite today. Who? My husband? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, a little to the right, please. There, that's it. Thank you very much. Not at all. Horses to the post, please. Jockey's up. See, Lee, I wouldn't bid on that horse if I were you. You wouldn't? No. If you got any money, you better put it on my horse. Here he is, just going out. He does look mighty good. Good? He's gonna be the winner. Then we'll be sure and bet on him. What's his name? Little Chin. And what's your name? Dink. What's yours? Linda. I think Dink's a very nice name. Well, Linda ain't a bad name neither. <laughs> Tony, dear, put $50 on Little Champ. Sure. I'll see you up in the box. You won't be sorry, lady. No, ma'am, you sure won't. Oh, I haven't been introduced to this gentleman. Oh, he's Jonah, my pal. Jonah. She can't with Mrs. Linda. How do you do? Yes, sir. He's colored. <laughs> so he is. A very right, nice color. The board on Ronnie Boy. Yeah, right, we'll have the Snap it up, board. folks. Snap it up. Oh, hello, Mr. Carlton. Hello. 50 to place on Little Champ, please. Hey, give me 20 on Little Champ. 20 on Little Champ, excuse me. Mr. I... Hello, Andy. Oh, hello, Carlton. I thought you never came out west. Uh, we're spending the winter in California. We? Meaning, uh... Yes, Linda and I. Yeah, well, that's good enough. No more bets, folks. They're at the post. Get off! Tony, what took you so long? Why, you look as if you'd seen a ghost, Tony. I have, Linda. I saw Andy. Andy? Where? Look down there, by the rail. Yes, I see him. You see that boy with him? Why, it's... It's the same one who... Tony! Yes, Come on, take it easy. Take it easy, Dink. Take it Come easy. Come on. Go for a little chance. Keep your hands to yourself, will you, Dink? Look at him. He's coming up. He's gaining. If you don't quit slowing me, I'll murder you. Go on, little champ. Go on, go on. Oh, oh champ. He failed. He failed. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, he's broken his leg. Oh, champ. Take it easy. He's all right, kid. Look, he's getting up. He's okay. He's just winded, that's all. Oh, gosh. I gotta see him. I gotta see him. Think the nag's okay, Sponge? Yeah, I guess so. He looks all right from here. Tough break, huh? Tough on the kid. Well, it's not so good on us, neither. We're clean again. Ah, we've been broke before. Come on, let's get out of here. Wendy. 
Yeah, yeah. What do you want? I'd like to see you alone. Yeah, okay. Come on. Well, spell it. Andy, is Dink Linda's child? Is he? Yeah. What about it? She'd like to see him, Andy. Yeah, so what? Well, I think you ought to let her. Why? She washed the both of us up a long time ago, didn't she? Didn't she? Well, it was a mistake, Andy. Your marriage to Linda. I'd known her since she was a child and loved her. Yeah, you was her class. I was just a runner-up who couldn't make the grade, so she gave me the gate. I'm sorry, Andy. Yeah, that does a lot of good. Let Linda see the boy. Not Please. a chance, not a chance. The courts gave me custody of the kid, and I'm keeping it. Besides, you got a kid of your own, ain't you? Yes, we have a little girl. But Dink is also Linda's child. No, no, no. She's got you and a new kid. I got Dink. We all stay just as we are. She'd give anything in the world to talk to him, Andy. Anything? How much? I wasn't thinking in terms of money. Okay, then. Okay. Now, wait. All right, Andy. Here's $100. Bring him over to the hotel tomorrow. There'll be another 100 All right? Well, I'll tell you. I got to sleep on it. If I decide that I don't want it to seem, why, I'll send this back to you. So long. The curtain falls on act one of our play as the champ debates whether or not to let Linda see their son. Before Wallace Beery and Josephine Hutchinson return for the second act, we have a brief intermission, and Mr. Roick and our trio investigate an interesting subject. Are you ready, Sally, and Irene and Mary? Yes, but first I'd like to ask you a question, Mr. Roick. All right. Do you ever read the lost and found section in the newspaper? Why, yes, once in a while I do. Why? Well, the other day we were looking at the lost column, and here's the thought that came to us. Lost and found columns have items so solemn of lost a cat. Lost a hat, yet they could add something even much sadder than lost a purse. Mm, much worse. Yes, if the lost and found section said, lost a lovely complexion somewhere between the time I was 16 and today, reward Miss J. Mm, that would be tragic, and you could read between the lines, too. Miss J probably didn't know when she lost her complexion beauty or how. She just woke up one day and realized her skin was no longer smooth and clear. But we know that a nice complexion didn't disappear in one day. No. Probably Miss J had been making one mistake for a long time. The mistake of not removing dust and dirt and stale cosmetics thoroughly. You know, that's the kind of neglect that gradually causes cosmetic skin. Dullness, unpleasant little blemishes and enlarged pores. That's why it's important to give your skin thorough Lux Toilet Soap care every day. This mild white soap has active lather that carries away swiftly and surely every last particle of dust and dirt. Active lather gives you the protection of perfect cleansing. Use cosmetics all you like, but use gentle white Lux Toilet Soap regularly. Remember how important soft, appealing skin is. I promise you, that you will have found the complexion care you've been looking for when you found Lux Toilet Soap. Found Lux, your spirits go leaping. Found Lux, and finding is keeping, keeping to one soap when you have found Lux. Gentle white Lux Soap. Our producer, Mr. DeMille. Act Two of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery in the title role, with Josephine Hutchinson as Linda, Noah Beery as Tony, and Bobby Larson as Dink. It's only a few miles from the champ's dingy quarters in Tijuana to the sedate beauty of the American Hotel in Caliente. But it's a new world to Dink. In the living room of his mother's apartment, where the champ has sent him without a word of explanation, Dink is bewildered and ill at ease. At last the door opens and Linda comes in. Hello, Dink. Oh, hello, Linda. I'm so glad to see you again, Dink. Yeah? I was wondering. Why? Well, on account of losing that dough for you at the race. Oh, that doesn't matter. Ain't that the reason you want to see me? No. It was a lot more important than that. Well, say, this ain't a bad dump you got here, Linda. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. It's 
champion man fixed up as well as this, but our joint's more lively. It's right over the Greek saloon. I like to listen to the piano playing, but I'm waiting for the champ to come home nights. Does your father leave you alone often? No, he takes me most every place, especially when he shoots dice. I'm good luck to him. You like your father very much, don't you? The champ is the greatest guy in the world. Say, you ought to meet him sometime, Linda. I... I have met him, Dink. Hasn't your father told you who I am? No. Well, has he ever talked to you about your... your mother? Oh, yeah. She kicked the bucket before I was born. Is that what he told you? Well, I heard it someplace. Dink, try to understand. I'm your mother. Oh, no. Yes, Dink, I am. My mother? Then why didn't you live in with a champ and me? Well, your father and I disagreed. I'm married to Mr. Carlton now. Then you ain't married to the champ anymore? No. Oh, well, then you ain't my mother. How could you be? <laughs> oh, Dink. Oh, what you crying about? Dink, I am your mother. Nothing that happened between your father and me can change that. Well, that's all right. If you don't have to cry about it, I like you and... Do you, Dink? Do you really? Sure. Mm, you... Well, I gotta go now. Dink, I wish you'd kiss me. Oh, no. I don't kiss dames. <laughs> Please, Dink. Oh, what's a good, Ned? I'd like you to. Well, okay. So long. So long, Dink. Come down to Tijuana sometime. I'll show you around. <laughs> oh, Linda. Oh, what's happened, darling? He, he doesn't even want to know me. Well, don't say that, darling. He, he just doesn't understand yet. How could he? Oh, Tony, if he grows up in that background, I'll blame myself all my life. We've got to get him out of it, Tony. We've got to. <laughs> Come on, Dice. Be good to me. Come on, Papa. One mile to go, yeah. There she is, little Phoebe. Come on, let's shoot the whole works. Hey, hey, take it easy, champ. You're way ahead of the game. Don't bother me. Where's Dink? Hey, Dink, Dink. Come on here. Wake up, wake up. Come on, kid. You know what to do. Make the dice lucky for me. Come on. Ah, oh, champ. I run out of spit. Come on, don't give me that. Okay. It's up a late, champ. Ain't we gonna hit the hay soon? Sure, soon. Ate her from the caber. Come on, that ain't hard to make. Come on. I'm dying on my feet, champ. Come on home, will you? Oh, we can't quit now, Dink. We're going good. Come on. That does it. Come on. Holy Mikey, one again. Hey, champ. Yeah, what? Guy outside wants to see you. Oh, get out of here. Go on, I'm busy. He said it was important. His name's Carlton. Oh, yeah? Okay. Here, Sponge, take the dice. You shoot your own dough, though. Oh, okay, champ. Okay. Andy, I want to speak to you. Yeah, well, spell it. Andy, Linda and I have a proposition to make you. Yeah? We want to give you, uh, we want you to give us Dink for six months. Why, why? Because, because we want to help him. We want to do something for the boy. Like what, for instance? Well, send him to school, give him a different environment. He's and... got plenty of environment right here. I'm busy. Now, wait. I know that you love him, Andy, and Dink loves you, but, but this is sort of a life for a kid. Come on, give the boy a chance. If you love him, Andy... I had a hunch she'd pull something like this. Why, well, I got to do a lot of counting to keep from smacking you down. Look, you see this dough? I got pretty close to four grand here. I'm going to send that kid to school, and I'll get him dressed up, too. Him and me's going to travel. What do you say to that? If we wanted to get nasty, Andy, we could take that boy away from you. You're not a good father, you know. You... Go on, beat it, Carlton. Go on. I'm sorry. I thought I'd give it to you straight, Andy. Here's the chip. Come on, chip. It's still your own. All right, give me those dice. Come on. Give me those dice. Come on. Spit on them, Dink. Oh, he's asleep, champ. He's out like a light. Hey, hey, Dink. Never mind. Let him alone. Let him alone. I'm shooting a hundred bucks. Come on, dice. Show him some rolling. Come on, dice. 
hot doggy, watch him go. Come on. Okay, champ. We're closing up. Want to sign that paper? Uh, oh, yes. I'll sign it. Yeah. Sign right here. It's Dink's horse, Whitey. I must have gone nuts gambling him away that way. A kid's going to die when he finds it out. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you. If you can get the money within the next couple of days, I'll let you have him back. Okay, thanks. Dink. Dink, come on. Wake up, Dink. We're hitting for home. Gee, what time is it, champ? This morning. You want me to carry you? No, I got legs. Had bad luck, champ? Yeah, yeah. I've gone in a lot of it. Well, tomorrow's another day. Little champ will make it all back to us in his next race. Dink, listen. I got to tell you something. What's the matter? We ain't got little champ anymore. I, I lost him. Lost him? Yeah. You, you lost little champ? Oh, no! I'll get him back, Dink, just as soon as I get the money. But you, but you gave him to me. But don't take all of that way about it, Dink. I didn't mean to do it. It just happened. Come on, now. Get that chin up. Everything's going to be all right. Come on. Give me a smile. Sure. I'm, I'm smiling. That's the way. I'll get him back, Dink. I don't know how, but I'll get him for you. It's uh, 300 bucks, Linda. I wouldn't have come to you for it, only another kid loved that horse, and I promised to get him for it. You understand, don't you, Linda? Yes, Andy. I haven't got it now, but I can send it to you. Gee, thanks, Linda. I can't tell you how I appreciate it if everything is anything that I can do for you. Of course, there wouldn't be, would there? There might be, Andy. You could reconsider about letting us have Dink. Take him away from me? Can't you see how much we could do for him? A good home, a decent atmosphere, friends. We'll send him to a good military school. Yeah, where... I know all about that. Yes, and you've said no. But what right have you to say no? Why don't you let Dink decide? Perhaps he'd like to stay with us. Ask him. Okay. Linda, I'll, I'll ask him. You will? You promise? I promise. On order to see you. Right, champ? Yeah. <laughs> Set him down, Jose, and bring us some more water, will you? Hey, right there, will you? See? You want some more meat, Dink? No, more corn. Mm, all right, here, help yourself. Oh, say, uh... I got to ask you something. What? Well, uh, <clears throat> you wouldn't like to go to military school, would you? No. No. What's it, what's it like? Well, it's it's like a prison. You wear a uniform, you know, one of those uniforms, and, and you got to march all the time, and they wake you up in the morning with a bugle. You wouldn't care for that, would you? No. No. And you wouldn't care to live in a great big house, would you? You know, a dump as big as a barn? I mean the sort of a place where you, where, where you got to be dressed up all the time and, and you got to wash all over three or four times a day. Wash three times a day? Yeah. Nothing doing. You got the right idea, Dink. And don't, listen, I don't suppose you'd be crazy about going to one of them their colleges and sitting in a room where you got to read books all day. That's out, huh? Books? Not for me. That's out. Sure, I kind of thought that you'd feel that way, but... I had to ask you, you know. Hey, Jim. You got him, Whitey? Yeah, I got him. Got who? Now, who do you suppose? Little champ. I'm buying him back for you. Little champ? Where's he at? Down at my place. Oh, gee, I gotta see him. Oh, so long, champ. Oh, thanks, champ. So long, champ. <laughs> He's kind of happy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Got my dough, Andy? Oh, yes. Oh, sure. 300 bucks, wasn't it? You know how much it was. Well, here you are. One, two, oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> What's the number on this bill? Odd or even? You starting that again? Okay, okay, okay. Lend me ten bucks and I'll buy you a drink, too. Gee, don't you can't look great, Jonah? Sponge says he looks like man of war. Only can't run as fast yet. 
All he need is practice. That's all. It's like the champ. He didn't know much about fighting when he first started, as later on, when he's the world's champion, it's the same with the horse. Sure. Say, something going on across the street, Ding? Yeah, let's go see. Look, that is Sheriff Man. Whoa, somebody's getting pinched. Somebody landing in jail today, yes, sir. Hurry up, I want to see who. Let go of me, will you? Let, let go of me. Go on, take your paws off of me. Can a guy speak his mind without being dragged down this jail? Oh, gee. It's... it's... Champ! Champ! Oh, hello, Dink. Oh, Champ. Oh, gee whiz. Yeah, I guess I did it again, Dink. Vamos, come along, you. No, let him alone. You can't take him. He's my father. Yeah? Well, that's too bad. Come on, move along out of the way. Come on. Come on. All right. You can see him now, but you come out soon, eh? Sure, sure, sure I will. Uh, hello, champ. Hello, Sponge. Gee, you look awful. What's the matter, ain't you slept any? No, no, I, I've been thinking. Boy, what a joint. Say, what happened anyway? I hear you're acting up down at Joe's, and by the time I get there, they got you in a can. What's the beef, champ? Oh, what's the difference? Okay, okay. Where's Dink? Is he coming? Sure, sure, he's on his way now. He, uh, he stopped off or something. Listen, I've been thinking it all over. I'm giving Dink to his mother. Huh? I'm giving him to her. I ain't no good, and he'll be better off with her. It'll be tough making him go, but he's got to. Well, gee, champ, what'll you do without him? What'll he do without you? Oh, after a while, he'll forget me. Kids always do. Hey, champ, I'm here, champ. Here I am, champ. Hello. Gee, what a dump, huh? Oh, look. I bought you something to eat, champ. I told Chili Mary to make it special for you. Look, just where you like. I ain't hungry. Take him home, Sponge. Pack his stuff. Take him over to the hotel to his mother. What? What for? Because I say so. You're going to stay with her from now on. Oh, no, champ. I want to stay with you. Do you? Well, you... That's tough. Because you're not going to. Oh, what am I going to do with her? You're going to go to school, learn things, grow up to be somebody. Let her feed you for a while. I'm tired of feeding you. You're eating all the time, and I'm tired of having you hanging around, following me everywhere I go. I, I won't eat so much, champ. And I won't hang around you. I'll stay with the Greeks and wait until you come home night. No, you're going over to her. I'm saying you are, so you're going. I wish you wouldn't send me, champ. I'll go to school here. I'll, I'll be somebody when I grow up. Somebody like you. No, no. You're going to your mother's, do you hear me? I don't want any sniveling out of you. No back talk. No, champ. I ain't going. I ain't. You're going. I ain't. I'm staying with you. I... Did you hear? Get out. That'll hurt you to argue. No. Go on, beat it. Okay. Okay, champ. I hit him. I hit him. Hey, champ. Champ, what's the matter with you? Slamming your hand against the wall like that. You want to break him. it? I hit him. Champ, stop it, will you? I hit that kid of mine. <laughs> That was Act Two of The Champ, starring Wallace Beery and Josephine Hutchinson. In Act Three, Dink takes a hand at running his own life. But during this brief intermission, here's a gentleman who explains how to acquire something valuable. That's right, Mr. DeMille. Something valuable and a bargain at the same time. Something you will cherish all your life. Just think of the delight of owning a wonderful new set of gleaming silverware at a real bargain price. Perfectly proportioned and of really high quality. The pattern is called Allure, made by the International Silver Company, the world's largest silversmiths, exclusively for the friends of Lux Toilet Soap. It's a pattern that reflects the good taste of all you folks who enjoy this program. Now, it's not one of those gaudy, ornate patterns. It is rich, yes, but with a design full of character. This design has a classic wheat motif, sweeping gracefully from bowl to tip, 
And don't forget the fine workmanship. This silverware is original Rogers silver plate, guaranteed by the International Silver Company, the world's largest silversmiths. And with it, you receive a written guarantee. Let me read you one sentence from this guarantee. Every piece is guaranteed to give satisfaction in family use and will be replaced without charge at any time it does not conform to this guarantee. Now here is how you get this beautiful silverware. Start with six teaspoons, and enclosed with the spoons, you'll find an order blank giving illustrations of the other available silverware, knives, forks, soup spoons, all the other pieces necessary for a complete table service and directions on how to get them. Please listen carefully, because this is the last time the offer will be made on this program. Just send us your name and address, 50 cents in coin, and three Lux Toilet Soap wrappers. Send them to Lux Toilet Soap, Meriden, Connecticut, and you will receive a set of six Rogers teaspoons promptly and postpaid. This offer is good in the United States only. You can get as many sets as you wish, either for your own home or for Christmas presents. Just send another 50 cents and three more Lux Toilet Soap wrappers for each additional set of six spoons you want. Remember, this is the last time the offer will be made on this program. So do this. Send 50 cents in coin, three Lux Toilet Soap wrappers, and your name and address to Lux Toilet Soap, Meriden, M-E-R-I-D-E-N, Meriden, Connecticut. This offer is good in the United States only. Don't fail to send in right away. We pause now for station identification. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. We continue with the champ. On a train speeding north toward Los Angeles, a forlorn little figure sits huddled by the window, his chin buried in the collar of his new suit. Dink is trying very hard not to cry. Sitting beside him is Linda, patient and understanding. I'm glad you decided to come with us, Dink. We'll have some fine times together. Just you wait and see. Are you sure you won't have some dinner, dear? It's fun having dinner on the train. No, thanks. I ain't hungry. But, Dink, you... All right, darling. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I've got some good news for you. Tony pulled some strings in Tijuana before we left, and your father's home again. You mean you... you got out of jail? That's right. Well, thanks a lot. Was he all right? Yes, he was fine. Did he... did he ask about me? Of course. And Tony told him you were getting along so nicely. Oh... That's what you'd want to tell him, wouldn't you? Oh, sure, sure. I wouldn't want him to think that I... Well, you know... Of course. <laughs> you... You have a little cold, haven't you? Huh? Oh, yeah. My eyes, they've been running something awful. Oh, Dink, I'm so glad you're here. You gotta snap out of it, see? I thought everything would be okay when they sprung you out of jail, and now you're worse than ever. You know, another couple of nights without some shut-eye, you're gonna be a wreck. Oh, quit worrying. I'm okay. Okay for what? <laughs> Listen, champ, if it's a kid you're worrying about, well... Nix! Uh, you keep out of this. That kid's in a good spot, and he's going to stay there. Don't worry, Sponge. I'll... I'm all right. I'm just nervous. As soon as I get some sleep, just a couple of hours. I'll... Hey, champ! Well, for... What was that? I don't know. I could have swore that that was a... Hello, champ. Dink. I thought I couldn't see how you was. Dink. Oh, Dink. Oh, gee, champ. Outside, Sponge. Get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Gee, Dink. I'm awful glad to see you, too. Me, too. I... I got a little cold. <laughs> yeah. So bye. <laughs> gee whiz, but you look swell. That suit ain't got much life to it, but it ain't bad. And say, oh, 
Oh, oh, you got a manicure. Yeah, it'll wear off, though. What happened to your hand? Oh, I had nothing. I just, I just scraped it. Wait a minute, how'd you get back here? I, I ran away, champ. I didn't like it up there. I mean, it was okay, but... Well, you was right about the washing business. Three times a day, all over. Oh, gee. I, I'm sorry, Dink. It was all right, but I'm going to stay here now, champ. I got it. Okay, Dink. You know what? I ain't had a drink since I got out of jail. And I've been off the dice, too. Gee, that's great. And start tomorrow, I'm going in training. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to see them promoters in the morning. I'll make them get me a fight. Look here. Let me. I'll show them. Look at that footwork, Dink. Gee, you're lighting your feet. You betcha. Here, feel that muscle. Boy, it's like iron. Steel. See any reason why I couldn't make a comeback? No. I'll do it. I'll send you to school and I'll get you a lot of nice clothes. And as for manicures, say, I'll have a girl following us around just to take care of your fingernails. Oh, couldn't we get a man to do that? Sure. Watch out, Dink. I'm going to do some sparring. Oh, boy, give it to him, champ. The old one-two, one-two. Ah, one-two. Head up, boy, champ. That's what'll happen to the next guy that I go up against. Hey, champ, you busted the washboard. Oh, that's all right. Forget it. After my next fight, we're going to wash in the sink. None of that three times a day stuff, either. Oh, boy, am I glad to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on, give it something, Manny. Snap into it, will you? You was a three-legged elephant. You couldn't be no slower than that. Oh, lay off of me, will you? He'll be okay, Sponge. Yeah, he'd be great at a Girl Scout's taffy pull. But this is a fight he's going into. Oh, pipe gone, will you? Oh, why don't you take sucking him, champ? I ain't worth the trouble. You mean you ain't got the strength? Yeah. All right, all right, that's enough. Go on up to the room and take a sponge bath. I'll be okay. Just, just wait until I get going. I'll kill that guy. Yeah, well, get going now. Up to the room. We got more to do this afternoon. Okay, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah. Well, Sponge, how's he look? Oh, hello, Whitey. You were watching, weren't you? Yeah. And you ought to know. Don't bet no dough on him. I figured that. He's all shot, Whitey. It just ain't in him anymore. Wind's all gone, huh? Not enough left to play a harmonica with. You know, that Mexican's gonna make goulash out of him. That ain't so. Huh? Say, where did you come from? I thought I, you beat it, Dink. I'll tell the champ what you said. Oh, Nix, Nix, you don't want to do that, kid. Well, don't say things like that about him. He's going to come back. He's going to lick the stuffings out of that palooka. Yeah, 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 sure, sure he is, Dink, sure. <laughs> Going my way, Whitey? Yeah. I want to ask you a couple of more things. I've been talking to some of the boys down around my place. Dink, hey, Dink, wake up. I ain't got time now, John. i got to see the champ. Listen, Dink, this is important. What? I just hear something. It's all against us, Dink. Those gambler fellas are laying six to one. The champ don't last three rounds. Six to one? Oh, they're crazy. That's what they're betting. Listen, the champ's gonna kill that guy. He, he's in great shape. Maybe so, but they don't lose those gambler fellas, and they all say he's gonna get leg bad. Oi, shut up. Go and beat it. Okay, Dink. Just thought I'd tell you. Six to one? You ain't got a chance. The champ... He got a chance. Hello, champ. Hello. Hello, Dink. Come on in. Boy, some workout, huh? Yeah. Tired, champ? No, well, a little. I had a lot of catching up to do, but I'm doing it okay. Champ, I want to talk to you about that. About what? About this here fight racket. I don't like it. How come? I thought you was all for it. Well, I've been thinking it over. You know, champ, I like you lots better when you ain't training. Yeah? Yeah. For instance, when you got a couple of drinks in you, you're a lot of fun. I thought you didn't like me drinking. I was wrong. Not that you quit gambling. I don't get a chance to spit in your dice anymore. Huh? I got practically nothing to spit on these days. Yeah, I know, but look how I used to lose all my dough. We're much better off since I quit. I don't know. We used to have a lot of fun. Now you're craning most of the time, and we don't see much of each other as we used to. 
Oh, it's all on account of this fight. Oh, what are you talking about? You was the world's champion once. Everybody knows that. Now, what do we care about you being champ again? The fighting this Mexican ain't gonna get you much. If I win, and I'm gonna win, it'll get me ten grand. Oh, who cares about that? I do. With that dough, I'm gonna send you to school. We're gonna travel. I don't have to go to school. You didn't go, did you? No, that's why you're going. Say, you're not trying to get me to throw that fight, are you? No, champ. Okay. Then I'm going to fight, see? And I'm going to lick the stuffing out of that guy. You understand? Sure. Sure, champ. Well, that's the last preliminary. We're on next, champ. Yeah. If the doc here ever gets through with me. What do you say, doc? I'm okay, ain't I? Now, just a minute, Andy. I want to listen to that heart again, if you don't mind. Oh, cut it out. There's nothing wrong with me. I, I never felt better in all my life. Well, what do you say, doc? Okay? I guess so. There you are. I told you so. Now, you're in pretty fair shape, Andy, but don't go at it too hard. You've got to be a little careful. The old heart isn't any too strong. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's pumping pretty hard. Oh, it always does that just before a fight. When I won the championship, it was doing nip-ups. May I come in? Uh, hello, Carrollton. Hello, Annie. Where'd you come from? We came down to see the fight. Linda's outside. She'd like to speak to you, Andy. Yeah? Okay. Outside, everybody. Go on, Doc. So long. So long, Andy. But remember, take it as easy as you can. Don't put too much strain on the old pump. Oh, stop worrying. I'll be around when you die from your own pills. Go on. <laughs> Good luck, Andy. <laughs> come on in, Linda. Hello, Andy. Hello. What's it all about? You want to take Dink away again, huh? No. We know we can't do the impossible. We're not going to try it anymore. Well, that's good sense. You're going to see a fight tonight. I'm taking the care of the kid from now on. Andy, I'm bidding $5,000 on the other fellow. What? <laughs> that's great. A real pal, huh? You don't understand. We're betting that money for you, Andy. I don't get this. What do you mean, for me? Look, Andy, when we came down here, we heard that well, the odds are pretty much against you. They say you can't stand another fight. No, they're crazy. Maybe they are. Anyway, we don't want you to run any risks. If you find the fight isn't going right, don't worry. You'll have the money for Dink anyway. Yeah, now listen, Lindy. I got my chance tonight, the chance of a lifetime to make good with that kid, and I'm going to do it. Dink's going to be out there watching me, see? And when it's always going to be proud of him, everything's going to be all right. I hope so, Andy. Good luck. Same here, Andy. Okay, champ, here we go. In this corner, at 192, Manuel Taroga, the Cholo Kid. And in this corner, at 191 and a half, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Andy Purcell. Make him come to you. When he does, let him have that left. Sure, sure. Now listen to me. You can't last at top speed, see? Stay away. Do you hear him? Wait for an opening. When you get it, keep right after him. Okay, Sponge. Leave it to me. Hello, Dink. You're going to see some fighting tonight, kid. Sure. How do you feel, champ? Oh, I feel great. Your gloves okay? Sure. Go ahead and spit on him for luck. Sure. Good. I can't lose now, Dink. Sit down there and get a load of this. Good luck, champ. Champ, stay away from him. Let him come to you. Stay away, stay away. How's he doing, Sponge? Is he okay in there? I told him to stay away. Gee, Sponge, let him fight. He wants to finish him. Yeah, he'll finish himself if he ain't careful. We still got 15 rounds to go. Stay away, stay away. Round two. Champ, if you don't do what I say, that guy will kill you. I'm okay, Sponge. Let me alone. You went holding out? He's been... He's been hitting me here in the heart. It's okay. Well, cover up. Hold your left tire. Move him closer on the clinches. He can't touch your heart, then. I get... I... I... Tony, is he holding out? 
Can he do it, Tony? I don't know. He's looking worse every round. Oh, Tony, look at his face. He's being cut to pieces. I can't stand it. I'm going outside. Wait, darling. I'll go with you. Come on, Manuel. Are you getting me this round? Kill him, Manuel. Uh, the champ's through. He's staggering all over the Come ring. Come on, get him, Manuel. Kill him. There it is. He's down. All right, champ. Come on, champ. The bell saved you, boy. Snap out of it. Snap out of it, champ. You hear? Okay. Okay. You all right? Yeah, sure. Can you go back there, champ? Are you sure? I'll toss you in the towel now if you give me the word. No, I gotta finish. I gotta let me fight, Sponge. Okay. Okay, champ. Come on, Manuel. Look at him! Look at him! Come on, champ! Come on! Oh, champ! Don't let him hit you! Don't let him hit you again, champ! Don't let him! Don't let him! Your left! Free up your left! That's it! No! No, champ! He's got him, Dick! He's got him on the run! Oh, come on, champ! There he goes! One more now, champ! Once more! Off the floor, I'll eat the water bucket. Hey, get up, Manuel. Nine. Get up, Manuel. Out. Andy Purcell. Give us champ the rope. You were great. You were great. Hiya, Dick. I guess we showed him. Huh? Nice fight, Andy. Hello, Doc. Better go easy, huh, Doc? I'm proud of you, Andy. Hey, champ, just let me have one more picture, will you? One more picture. Sure. Ah. Uh, how do you want me? You want to see the punch that... Hey, hey, champ, what's the matter? Nothing. I, I've got a pain. I've got a pain. Champ! Champ! Get back, get back. Take him to the dressing room, quick. Let me go in and see him, please. Take it easy, Dink. Doc, can I go in, Doc? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, gee, thanks. How is he, Doc? Any chance? Not one in a million. And there's nothing I can do. Nothing. Champ. Hey, Champ. What happened? Are you okay? Sure. Come here, Dink. I want to speak to you. What about, Champ? Look, Dick. Your mother's here. You know that? No. She came down to get you. This time, I, I think that you ought to stay with her, Dick. Why, Champ? Why can't I stay with you? Because... Well, they know you kid Liz, I think. I ain't staying around much longer, understand? Oh, gee, Jim. Oh, come on, come on. That ain't no way to act. Listen, she's your mother, see? You ought to call it that. No more of this Linda stuff. For me, Dink. Huh? Okay, Jim. Add up, boy. And remember, keep your chin up. Keep your chin Everything's going to come out all right. Come on. Give me a smile. Jim! 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 <laughs> oh, my darling. My poor darling. It's gone. Oh, gee. Oh, you mother, mother, the champ, he's
Champ's great spirit lives on in his son. Wallace Beery, Josephine Hutchinson, Noah Beery, and Bobby Larson are returning to our stage. I think Bobby's about the youngest actor who's ever taken a curtain call at our microphone. Well, he may be young, CB, but he sure pulls his own weight in the boat. <laughs> I think he's a coming champ, Wallace. Yeah. See, Mr. DeMille, could I ask Mr. Wally a question? The floor's all yours, Bobby. You used to be with the circus, didn't you, Mr. Wally? Sure. I was nursemaid to the elephants. That's what I want to ask you about. Is it true that elephants never forget? Well, I should say it is. Every time a circus comes to town, a couple of elephants look Wally up. <laughs> With a trunk full of memories, I suppose. <laughs> you know, we, we used to have one elephant. Uh, we called her Big Mom. She always got scared in a thunderstorm. Every time it thundered, she couldn't sleep unless she wrapped her trunk around my arm, Bobby. <laughs> Temperamental elephant must have been an armful. <laughs> Mr. DeMille, can you imagine a fellow quitting a swell job like elephant training? Just to work in the movies? Mm. Confidentially, Bobby, I can't. <laughs> you know, I think that Wally gets a little homesick for the circus sometimes. Well, known when I hear that train whistle about 4 o'clock in the morning and I think about getting the tent down and the animals loaded and how cold it was sometimes, then I just turn over in bed and go back to sleep. I'm not homesick anymore. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that must be a very comfortable feeling, mm -hmm. Wally. Well, before we go, Mr. DeMille, I want to say something about the product behind this program. I use Lux soap regularly myself and have for several years because it's such a help to a good complexion. So gentle and yet so effective. Active lather, I think Mr. Roick calls it. Anyway, it's a grand soap and I wouldn't be without it. And now, Mr. DeMille, we're all anxious to know what you're planning for next Monday night. Next Monday night, we have a very special treat for Lux Radio Theater listeners. We're going to present a drama that was one of the great successes of the year on the screen. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. <clears throat> And our stars will be Laurence Olivier and Edna Best. Goodbye, Mr. Chips is the story of a man who spent his whole life as a master, a teacher in a boy's school. It tells of the love that brought light and color to Chips, of the ambition of his life and how it was achieved. As our special guest, we'll have James Hilton, the author. Goodbye, Mr. Chips is one of the great stories of our time. And we're particularly proud to produce it here next Monday night. It was a fine picture, Mr. DeMille, and it'll be a fine radio play, too. Good night, everybody. Bobby, I'll take you down to see the elephant sometime, honey. Oh, gee, thanks. Good night. <laughs> so long, CB. Good night. <laughs> and like, like those elephants, we'll never forget the chance. Our sponsors, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, join me in inviting you to be with us again next Monday night when the Lux Radio Theater presents Laurence Olivier and Edna Best in Goodbye, Mr. Chips. This is Cecil B. DeMille saying good night to you from Hollywood. This is Melville Roy inviting you to enjoy the popular Lux Daytime program, The Life and Love of Dr. Susan. Dr. Susan is putting up a brave fight to help Pat Briggs stay clean and straight. But two women who hate and fear Dr. Susan have joined forces to plot against her. Hear tomorrow's episode of this thrilling story. For the time and station, see your newspaper. The Life and Love of Dr. Susan comes to you in addition to the Lux Radio Theater. And don't forget to send 50 cents, three Lux Toilet Soap wrappers, and your name and address to Lux Toilet Soap, Meriden, Connecticut, and you'll receive six beautiful original Rogers Silver Plate teaspoons in the original Allure pattern. Heard in tonight's play were Lou Merrill as Sponge, Stymie Beard as Jonah, and Gail Gordon as Louie. Wallace Berry appeared through the courtesy of Metro Golden Mayor. His latest picture is Thunder Afloat. Josephine Hutchinson will be seen in the forthcoming Edward Small production, My Son, My Son. Louis Silvers is from 20th Century Fox, where he directed music for Drums Along the Mohawk. <laughs> This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>